new strain of salmonella found at a Charlotte produce distributor, and tonight the state health department has issued a warning. When several customers became sick at Moe's and Cantina 1511 on East Boulevard, state health inspectors looked for a common link. They discovered both purchased produce from Charlotte distributor El Campo. But when inspectors visited El Campo, they were surprised to discover jalapeno peppers and avocados contaminated with a different strain of salmonella. Tonight, we talked with a state epidemiologist. I think what surprised me the most was the fact that it wasn't the same as Salmonella St. Paul. El Campo sells produce to restaurants and small grocery stores throughout North Carolina. No large grocery stores. And inspectors are fanning out across the state looking for potentially contaminated produce. They were able to give us a detailed list of uh, over 100 establishments. Inspectors believe the salmonella contamination in El Campo's produce is very limited and most likely originated in Texas. The contamination, we would conclude, um, in North Carolina appears to be limited and not widespread. Here in North Carolina, there have been 23 cases of people getting sick from salmonella, 12 of those here in Charlotte. The state epidemiologist believes the vast majority of food is safe in North Carolina's Mexican restaurants. And at this point, there's no indication that El Campo's contaminated produce made its way into restaurants. At home, it's important to wash your fruits and vegetables, even if you're peeling them. Health inspectors say you may want to use very diluted dishwashing liquid and then rinse the produce in water. One bit of good news tonight, though, the FDA lifted its warning concerning tomatoes, but investigators still aren't sure what caused that outbreak.